All right. Uh, first question will come from Chad Bishop. Hey, Damon, uh, how's this week off looking? You guys change anything? Is it business as usual? How do you sort of handle these next four or five days? Um, you know, we'll practice uh, the same way, except take Wednesday off, play a simulated game at some point. And, um, you know, just kind of keep it the same. From, I mean, from there the same. Yeah. Do, you, do you like the timing of this, having this sort of time to reset, recharge the batteries, or would you rather keep playing a few games this week? Hey, we got a little bit of a rhythm. We, you know, we won a couple games, so, you know, you know, hey, maybe it just fell that way. But, I mean, I, I think, you know, this was good for us, you know, um, you know, we got a chance to not necessarily reset because, you know, it's the end of the year, but, you know, just a chance to, uh, you know, just kind of sit back and 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 look around and, you know, I think this is the time of year you maybe start talking hypothetically, you know, about certain things. So, you know, doing a lot of that as well. Are you and your staff sort of mindful that, you know, this is the end, guys are maybe – a little beat up, a little bruised, and, and maybe go a little bit easier or, or not? Nah. And I came from the NBA. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a, uh, you know, this is, you know, when I played, we all-star break was last weekend. Man, we played over 40 games, counting preseason, more. And, you know, now, I mean, I just, you know, I, it's kind of overrated, you know. I don't. I don't think that we go two hours in practice, you know. So we, you know, we do. We do a lot of the, you know, a lot of the mandatory stuff. I don't go over and beyond. I try to make the main thing the main thing. I think it's mental this time of year, anyway, you know. So, in terms of practice, I'd rather watch more film. To be honest with you, you know, it's just, you know, more so. Um, you know, you got to get on the floor for more so timing things. Uh, we'll go to Kip Coons. David, uh, wondering what uh, you get a breakthrough win on the road at, at a place like Miami. What what worked so well? What did you like about the way your team came together in that game? We passed the ball. You know, the I thought we did a great job of, you know, helping one another become better and. You know, when we lost to Clemson, we didn't do that. When we play well, we always do that. But for some reason, you know, we'll get to a point where we won't pass each other. And I think that we're not a very good team offensively when that happens. And uh, we passed the ball to each other. And then I I feel like defensively, we were able to come together in the second half. And we held them, I think, to like 29% in the second half shooting after they shot like dang near 60%. You know, and then uh, it particularly – you know, I thought Miles did a did a good job towards the end of the first half, but then into the second half, and then everybody else. You know, we kind of kept a cognate eye on them on on George because George had 16 at the at the break, but he didn't score again. I thought it was just a collective effort on our part. Was that also the case in the uh, uh, win over Syracuse that you found the passing was was sharper? Because that, that was seemed to be a really good offensive game for you. Well, you know, in, in, in that Syracuse game, I just I, I felt I felt like um we did do the same things, but defensively I thought, you know, when we we held Syracuse, I think they were they were forty percent or so from the field that game. And I think that we did a good job of taking away the three against them, you know, um the whole game. And, you know, offensively we were able to 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 have a good performance by buy on the inside. And, you know, they're a little bit smaller, Syracuse that is. You know, and then I thought, you know, even in the even in the Miami game, you know, Mir, he's been great all season, you know, but for whatever reason, you know, against us, you know, I thought he struggled a little bit against our bigs. And then I think they went small as well. But, uh, you know, just when we play together as a team, connected on both ends of the floor, I mean, it shows in the, in the win column. And when we don't, it shows in the loss column. You, you've got extra time this week to prepare for Florida State. One thing that, that I learned recently talking to an assistant coach was that Florida State in the ACC probably most resembles an NBA-style 
team. Do, do you see that uh, you know, with your background? Well, I think in terms of their length, to me, Syracuse, the, I mean, excuse me, Florida, Florida State. <clears throat> so I go back to my air and what they do for me is I go back to those Nolan Richardson teams. <laughs> <clears throat> And I just think they 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 play 10, 11 guys and they just don't stop. They come, they're relentless in terms of their pressure. So what they do is they put a lot of pressure on guys that are not used to handling the ball. So to me, you got to have, you got to be able to play in chaos is what I call it. So it's a lot of random things going on. And that's really what we're going to work on all week. You know, we, you know, we're, we're going to play up tempo. We need to play where. You know, there's not a lot of structure. You know, I think they're I, they're very good at that. You know, and I think that for me, that's that's what I see the most with them. That's what I've seen in the past. I just think that when you look up and down their roster, they're playing 10, 11 guys, it wears you down. You got to be mentally tough to play against them because it's going to be a 40-minute game, and there's going to be a lot of ups and downs in the game, a lot of runs. Thanks, David. Yep. Uh, I know Chad had another question. We'll uh, go back to them. Yeah, just one more, Coach. Uh, Kyle Sturdivant, you know, uh, last home game for him. I know you've known him for a long time. What's he meant to you, you know, this past year and helping you move this thing forward? You know, Kyle's been good. You know, Kyle is, you know, he's been he's been everything we needed from a senior. Um, you know, he's, he's uh, you know, the one thing about Kyle is, is, you know, his confidence doesn't waver. And, and and then, you know, down the stretch of games, he's poised for us. The ones that we won especially, you know, he's knocked down key free throws and done a great job with that all season long. And, you know, I, I know for I know for him, uh, you know, this is this this would be a big day. And um, uh, you know, just happy happy for him and and um, you know, we'll finish this thing out strong and then I know that you know, he'll be playing somewhere after, after here as well. Damon, thank you for the time. Appreciate it. We'll All see right, you next man. week. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. All right. That uh, 